I'm Sean Tavellia, and we're here at Suffolk County Community College to talk about how diffusion is used in real life. But first, let's talk about what diffusion is. Diffusion is simply the mixing of two materials based on kinetic energy of the molecules or atoms. So, for example, if we look at this very simple concept of a jar or some vessel holding some molecules, all of the molecules, because they have kinetic energy, are in constant motion throughout that vessel. As long as there's a lid on the vessel, the molecules or atoms stay within the vessel. But as soon as I remove the lid, the kinetic energy, that is the energy of motion, allows these molecules to slowly leave the vessel. At the same time, it allows other molecules outside of the vessel, such as air molecules, to enter the vessel. Over time, as, can, as the molecules continue to move, slowly, more and more of the molecules will exit the vessel, and more of the air molecules will enter the vessel. So over time, we will get an even distribution of molecules or atoms within the, within the vessel. We can see diffusion in real life in a number of ways. First, by steeping some tea, by just leaving the tea bag within the mug, slowly the tannins and the oils leave the tea and diffuse throughout the entire mug. Or by dropping some green dye in water. If we just let the water sit, the green dye will slowly diffuse and fill up the entire vessel. Or also through air diffusers that we use in our homes. By simply turning the dial, we open up the vessel and we allow molecules to slowly enter the air. And over time, the scent will diffuse throughout an entire room.